Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to create class in Eevee. This is going to be an Eevee tutorial, not cycles. But yeah, let's jump into it and let's create it. So first thing, Shift A, Mesh. Let's get a cylinder and then just go here. And just make it a little bit bigger. Then what you want to do is just click on it, right click, Shade Smooth. Now what you want to do is go to Shading, click here, New. Bring this in, S, zoom in, and then just go to EV. So click here, change from cycles to EV. The first thing I do is click on the principal BSDF, delete it, then go shift A, get a mix shader. Put that there, let's bring this down, and then plug the shader to the surface. Then what you want to do is go shift A, get a class BSDF, plug that into the shader and then get a transparent BSDF so shift A transparent plug that in there then it should bring us down press shift A look for layer weight node put that there and break this into the factor and then what you want to do is bring this blend down to 0 0.1 now what you want to quickly do is just got a layout X, G, let's bring this up, and then you go shift and get just a plane, S, scale it up, and then just click here, tab, just so we can see the material better. Click there, go E, extrude it up, click this, control B, you don't really have to do this, but looks better. Tab, shade smooth. Now, go back to shading. Let's go here, and then click this, boom. So we can see what we're doing. And then what you want to do is go here, and go to screen, space, reflections, click on it, then click down, and uncheck this. And you want to turn on the refraction. So what you want to do is then click on material, and settings, change this to alpha hashed, and this one. So off a hashed and then turn this on the screen space refraction and now let's go shift a get a cube s scale it down and then go yeah to x g let's put it in here you can see just make it a bit smaller And what you can do is just change this to another one so you can see you can see it in there nicely so it depends on your HDRI you can see that looks a bit better obviously it depends on how the light hits or depend on if you can see your cube or your object or not then where you can like make it more like kind of like glossy and uh, you change the roughness so if you bring this up you can see now it looks pretty cool so you can play around with the roughness if you bring it all the way up you can't see anything if you just bring it to somewhere like that it all depends on your hdri so if i click here change it to this one you can see and you have to play with the roughness you can always then just change the color of the cube. I click on it, change the color. See, it will change everything. But it looks pretty cool. It's like a nice glass material. And if you really want, you can click on this and just play with the RQR. But for 11450, or 1450, sorry, is the RQR a value for glass? And that's what is that by default. But yeah, this looks good. Let's see what it looks like in cycles. You can see it looks pretty good in cycles too. And you can play with the roughness. And all the way down, bring it up. Something like that looks good. And you can change the blend. It's zero. I mean, if it's one, you can't even see anything. It's zero. Uh, you can make it like 0 0.250. The 
it looks pretty nice but yeah that looks pretty cool hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe i've basically already created a thumbnail so i'm not going to make you go through it but yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe check out the patreon and yeah i'll upload this to the patreon so you can download it for free if you're a member but yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video see you in the next video peace